Hi ladies, welcome to Bevel and Embody. My name's Angela and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get super comfortable and confident in your heels. We're going to start out with some of the basics and some things that are going to be your best friends in a heels class. First things first is your bevel. Your bevel is your home and it's how you're going to be standing in heels from now on, whether you're in the supermarket, okay, or at your cousin's communion and you're just going to be rocking it, okay? so. Bevel. You're going to take your big toe, you're going to drag it all the way in, okay? You're going to squeeze your thighs together to give yourself support. And you're going to take a nice deep breath in, roll your shoulder blades back, and think of the back of your shoulder blades, the bottom of them kissing, okay? When we roll our shoulders in and we breathe in and exhale, I really want you to sit into that hip so we can really create those nice, feminine lines. The beautiful thing about heels dance is we can create those lines whatever shape we are, whether we're super slim, full bodied, whatever. We want to accentuate what we got. So let's recap. We take our big toe, slide it in, squeeze it, roll the shoulders, breathe in, sit, and sit in. Now, one thing that really just gives me this sense of confidence is really pushing that chest forward, okay? It's almost like for me, it's like something activates. It's like, oh yeah, I got this. So lift that chest up. So the second thing is how do we walk in heels? Walking in dance in general, like even when I was learning dance teacher training, there, there was a three pages on how to walk just without heels. So in heels, it's a totally different ball game. What we're gonna do, we're in our bevel. Remember, roll your shoulders, lift the chest, right? All you're gonna do is you're going to extend that foot out, okay? You don't wanna take too far across. You don't wanna take too far forward or else you're gonna lose your balance. You just wanna slightly where it's, where it's natural. Turn out your toes, okay? Not like this. Protect yourself, turn it out, yeah? From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna move your other foot all the way through to take another step. Yeah, I'm squeezing my thighs together and come through, take another step. Yeah, so you can see we're making it a little bit interesting by going on an angle. So we're not watching, walking straight forward, we're making it interesting. Once we've got that and we understand that, you really want to embody the movement. So from our bevel, roll the shoulders back, sit into the hips. You're going to step forward and really push your weight forward. Push it forward. Bring it through and push. See how I'm rolling my shoulders? Push and push. Now, remember, walking slow is 10 times harder. So if you prefer to try walk a little bit faster, it's gonna be easier. But once we learn how to do things nice and slow, we're gonna kill it with our technique. Let's try it a little bit faster. So, bevel, roll the shoulders, sit into that hip, five, six, seven, eight, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the third thing that is gonna be your best friend in a heels class is counterbalance. This is gonna save you, okay? What counterbalance is anytime you're leaning forward in a heel, you have to compensate by putting your hips back, okay? Because if you're leaning forward and you're just expecting your toes to hold your whole body weight, sweetheart, it's not gonna happen, okay? So let's push the hips back. See how my hips are going back, 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 back. The further back they go, the more down I can go comfortably, okay? So we can do that um, just down to the sides. We can take our hands, we can bring it all the way back and then bring it all the way up, yeah? So another way we counterbalance is we can counterbalance in a really easy beginner move, which is a swipe drop up. Sitting into your hip, I'm gonna swipe, I'm gonna drop, and then I'm gonna flick up. All my weight is on one side, okay? So all my weight is on my hip, leaning back, okay? So 
I hope this is helpful. If it has, please leave a comment, like and subscribe and please turn on the notification bell. Mwah!